Ugh, great comment. If only people knew. Oh, hey. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Andre Sofia, and today's video, we're talking about Great Comet, one of the many shows to have sadly closed that is highly underrated, and this book is definitive, uh, not definitive, de definite weed. Um, so anyways, let's get into the video. So um, today I'm talking about why Great Comet has a show closed, and um, exactly what the controversy was and its origin. So uh, let's just get into it. A little bit of history into how Great Comet was inspired. So Dave Malloy, who wrote the music and lyrics for the book, uh, was inspired by War and Peace, which he went on a cruise ship that was recommended by his friend. And eventually he went on to do other work, and then eventually uh, met Rachel Chafkin, who is a goddess and who uh, directed Hades Town and uh, Moby Dick, and you know, she's one of the greats. Anyways, she saw Beowulf in 2009. And one night when they were talking, he basically said, what do you think of this idea? Expecting her to laugh in his face, but she loved it. And eventually they were to pitch to Aris Novus and eventually made it there on October 16th, 2012. After the show closed, it opened at the meatpacking district at Kazana, or however you pronounce it, in May of 2013. The show closed in September of 2013 and then moved to the theater district where it played a run through March of 2014. Now, after that, I went on to the ART, which is an amazing theater, and I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, it's in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and it was there from December 1st of 2015 to January of 2016. And in Casanano, or however you say that, and Aris Nova, it was staged in a tent setting, where it was in the ART, it was in a more traditional proscenium stage, meaning that it wasn't a tent. Those at the ART loved the show and eventually was brought to Broadway and began previews on October 18th, 2016 and officially opened on November 14th, 2016 with superstar hip icon Josh Groban as the lead role. It cost $14 million to stage and had to remove 200 seats to accommodate the design. Anyways, it was nominated for 12 Tony Awards, the most of that entire season, including Best Musical, and brought home two for Best Lighting Design and Best Scene Design. And hey, a lot of people said it should have won more, but it was a competitive season. Dovin Hansen, Hello Dolly with Bette Midler, I mean, you could say it was pretty competitive. Anyways. Josh Groban left the show in July and was replaced by Oak from Hamilton. Oak was set to play a limited engagement, however, his run was supposedly going to be cut short after ticket sales were dwindling and the producers realized if they didn't intervene and add in some new star power, the show would have to close and they wanted to get Mandy Patinky, who was very successful on Broadway and had his own TV show, Homeland. This sudden change of events, in casting that is, led to a huge controversy with even the hashtag Make Room for Oak, with many people dismissing the fact that they were choosing a very popular, prominent white actor over a hardworking black African American actor. Anyways, Oak left in August, and the controversy is the main reason why the show ended up closing as ticket sales continued to dwindle. We're not gonna see the show because of this controversy and also many star power that they were trying to get in the show, including some famous mu musician from LA declined to come into it. Now, Great Comet is an interesting, you know, situation of how it closed. Because again, the producers were preventing something, but ended up making it come true even more. And um, a lot of people blamed the producers and said they weren't great, good producers and they were getting into petty lawsuits um, and all that stuff. And I personally, I don't think we should be blaming one person. It was a simple mistake that the producers made. And we all have to accept the fact that Great Comet was going to end up closing. Personally, I was devastated because I loved this show. I never was able to see it, but I saw the bootleg. I listened to the album. It, it, the music was beautiful. The direction, the relatability. And in an article that uh, Vulture did, I think, um, Dave Molloy said himself that he was so surprised at how many teens ended up loving the show and relating to Pierre as a character, something that he did unintentionally. The final performance came, standing ovations, um, huge stage door crowd, and the show ended. Now, after Broadway, the show has not had any big productions except in Japan and Germany. And there's been real no talks of US tour or London production, which is, which is a shame because Great Comet is such an emotive show and it does so well, I think, in a smaller space just because I feel like it's not mainstream or commercial enough. Um, and I definitely do think that if moving forward they want to do more future productions, doing an intense 
toying it around is great, but I definitely do think this is a made for the BMC6 crowd. Like if you're looking for a B more snow, you're not gonna find that in Great Comet. And I'm gonna even admit, when I listened to Great Comet, I thought it was pretty boring. But as I listened to it more, I really got into it. Same like Katie's Town. These are shows that just take time. You know, we're not, they're not earworms. They're not like super catchy at first, but they do if you listen to it enough. I think Oak handled it very poorly. You know, he, um, he wasn't learning his, um, cues on time, um, he needed more time because he just wasn't taking this material serious enough, and when he asked for changes, uh, the director, Rachel, did not allow him to make those changes, which, which got him mad, but it was really because you wasted your time and you decided to choose not to learn this material until, like, weeks before the show began, so I definitely do, I, I think Oak twisted the story in his favor, when really, you know, he just wasn't um, being up to par, and I think it was partly ego. And I mean, clearly, I think the cast was very upset at Oak that he allowed this to transpire. Um, and it definitely is an interesting situation. And I, w I would love later in my life to make a documentary on Great Comet and exactly what happened, learning the gory details of what um, essentially happened and how it all went down. Um, but again, it was a big risk. They took it. They sadly weren't able to stick the landing, but they had a great one on Broadway. And um, that final song always chokes me up. So anyways, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.